So the IVF has ordered Boots Ennis, Jerome Boots Ennis, to face uh, Korean Chuckerson that uh, basically already had a fight previously in January 2023. Uh, this is basically a rematch from that match that was in Washington, D.C. And, um, you know, it was basically a blowout fight. Uh, Jerome Ennis uh, cut off the ring and um, basically had the Ukrainian fighter on his back foot the whole time. He was moving around. Uh, wasn't really engaging that much. But um, it wasn't something that the fans was really too impressed with. But uh, overall, man, it's it's a fight that they've been looking at. Uh, Eddie Hearns said that um, he was trying to make an offer to uh, Mario Barrios. Don't seem like uh, that's going to be a fight that will happen soon, but um, I don't know, man. Um, maybe uh, Boost Ennis is somewhat motivated to actually stop this guy in a second fight. So it could be something that actually turns out to be a gift instead of a curse. I think uh, him making mandatory defense, that'll actually help out in his case. You know, the mandatory has been asked, uh, just like Eddie Hearn said, the mandatory has been called. and He's not too over the moon about it because it's a good fighter in uh, Chuckerson, but uh, he don't really think that uh, because it's someone in that boots box before, there's nothing he really can do about it, but it's not really a fight he was actually looking for. Um, he's mentioned um, big fights for Conor Ben and Jerron Ennis. They tried to offer uh, Mario Barrios, but I think Barrios has already had plans on fighting other guys, so that fight doesn't seem like it'll happen very very soon. But I mean, if this is the only option for Jerron Ennis right now, 47, especially with that being a mandatory, you can't really do anything about it. But the IBF, uh, I don't know if this is the best option they can come up with, but this is what they want to handle so far, so they can go through with it, but. There's plenty of other fights that can actually be made uh, instead of just sitting with this one fight. I feel like uh, Jerron Ennis has plenty of options at that weight class, but if they want to sit around, sit around and actually make these fights uh, a mandatory, I mean, can't really stop these guys from actually doing it, to be honest with you. From what I've seen, you can't really stop these guys from making these mandatory fights and putting those things up, but... Uh, Jerron Ennis is going to have a lot of options regardless. I know a lot of people are uh, saying that he needs to make a fight now and uh, they're not interested in certain fights that uh, him and his team is coming up with. But um, overall, man, he's already trying to put his hat in the ring for a lot of these fights that these guys have uh, mentioned lately. And if it can't happen anytime soon, then it just won't, won't be something that a lot of people will be uh, looking for. But from what I've seen, a lot of people are looking to see, see Jerron Ennis fight anybody. Um, I, if this Korean guy drops in the ring again with Jerron Ennis, uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will tune in. It's going to be something that will be um, marked on the calendar for me especially because I think he can do a better job boxing this guy. And if this guy wants to come in and actually fight for a belt, um... And if he felt like he did a better job in the last fight, I expect his opponent to come out and be a lot more aggressive than he was in the last fight. And that, and just to be honest, those were one of the guys that Jerron Ennis was basically trying to get to. And no, he didn't get the knockout, but he still did a good job of pacing himself, taking his time, didn't really uh, get outside of himself. Didn't try to really uh, fight for the crowd, which a lot of people make that mistake. But uh, in this case, I think he'll try to go for the knockout in this fight. And uh, that will make for an interesting uh, rematch. And for him to rematch a guy and this early in his career, it actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, because a lot of fans definitely thought that he could have did a better job in that fight. And it'll definitely show a lot of things uh, that he can bring to the table at this time in his career. And it'll show the progress Jerron Ennis has made since 2022, 2023. So I'm definitely uh, 
kind of interested in the fight because there's not many options out there. Danny Ellis not on the table. Uh, I know uh, Brian Norman just got a belt, so that's kind of early. Uh, Connor Vins not really around the corner. Yeah, this is an IVF order fight, uh, and Eddie Hearn confirms it. So it's definitely a big deal right now because we actually know that this will be his next fight. But he has no other options right now because it's a mandatory. He just got the belt, so uh, that's all I got. Like and subscribe.